Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, I'm here to discuss about follow-up on invoices in Odo 40. It is essential for your business to collect payments when they are overdue. Odo will help you to identify payments that are late and will allow you to send the appropriate reminders to customers. Uh, so you can do this every day, uh, that is daily or weekly or monthly, preferably after uh, reconciling the payment, just to make sure that uh, status of invoice are up to date. So let's check uh, how it is done uh, by directly going to order database. So here we, we can see our accounting module. And when you open this under customer, you can find follow up reports. So when you click on this, you can see all the uh, follow-up reports created so which is filtered according to customer invoice and in need of action that is by default it is filtered according to uh, this in need of action and customer invoice and when you close this you can view all the follow-up reports created for customers with total due total overdue and with follow-up status and follow-up level so uh, i'm not going to open any of them i will just show you how to create these reports. Uh, so first let's create a customer invoice. So here I'm selecting customer. So for this customer, I'm going to create an invoice. So here we have an invoice line, just add product. And here you can see the due date of the invoice. So you can change this just by selecting. So I'm adding due date as 15 days. So according to that, you can see the change. Then suppose I'm adding invoice date as October 19th. So I have added invoice date as October 19th in order to show you what will happen when the payment is overdue. Okay. Now I'm going to confirm this invoice. Okay. So suppose the customer having paid, uh, that is having made the payment, registered the payment. So when you come back, you can see for this customer, you can see 16 days ago due date and the invoice date also can be seen here. Okay, let me come back and I'm going to the customer. So you can see the contact form of the customer. And here you can find the due, total due for the customer. So when you click on this, you'll be redirected to the page that is a follow up report. So a first rem reminder email is it's created for the customer, it's created for the customer. And you can see the customer name, name. And here we have, we can see the invoice, invoice detail with the date of invoice and due date of the invoice with many other details as well. Then, here we can mark this uh, customer, uh, customer's trust level, whether he's a good debtor, normal debtor, or bad debtor. So it is according to his previous invoice. We can mark him as good or bad. Okay. Then here we can see the uh, mail board, email body. You can change this. You can add more uh, message here. Then you can see the phone number and email ID of the customer. And here we can print letter, then you can send by email. That is, we can send this report by email to the customer. So when you click on this, you can see follow-up report was successfully emailed. And we can send this by post. So you can see, you can send sending this document will cost one stamp. Then you can send by SMS with, uh, you can see the recipient customer name. Then the phone number can be viewed with a message. So you can send SMS. Then here you can see a, a manual action, check payment is done. This is a manual action uh, that was uh, created inside the first reminder email follow up level. Then we can also remind me, click remind me later. If it is not a time for a reminder, uh, you can click this button. To remind later so get report according to next reminder date and you can see the next reminder date here and from here you can schedule ex uh, activity or send message uh, in this follow-up report 
So when you click this done, you can see uh, you are done with the follow. -up. So the follow -up is done. Okay. Now if you come back, so here we have our follow up reports. And here we close, you can see for the customer, here you can see with overdue invoices and follow up level, you can see first reminder. And again, you can click this and again, you can send an email. So when you click on this, you can see Again, the follow-up report was successfully emailed. Okay, again, you can click done. So from here, you can see uh, for this customer that is follow-up statuses with overdue invoices. And you can see second reminder letter and email because we have sent first reminder email and uh, so this is a second reminder letter email and you can see the content is different uh, so uh, here you can see some follow-up levels that is first reminder email second reminder email third reminder email so actually we can create a new follow-up levels or config existing follow-up levels by going to uh, conf configuration under configuration you can see the follow-up levels so this follow-up levels are used to plan follow-up process. So we have uh, some default actions are available in Odoo. So depending upon specific number of overdue uh, days, you can plan uh, not to send an email or letter or manual action. You can also edit the template used for the statement according to the stage of process. So here you can see some follow-up actions uh, that is already present, okay? And you can see the due dates, that is when action will happen. And with the actions, you can see send an email, print a letter, send a letter, send SMS, then manual actions. So let me open one. That is, we can also create new one, new payment, that is follow-up levels. I'm not creating any, of, any new one. So I'm just opening, I, I will show this first reminder email. And inside this, you can see after some days, you can, uh, that is, it is a total days after overdue, action will be done. Then if you would like to get a reminder before actual due date, then set a negative number of due dates. So I have set a negative 15. Then here we can find the actions, actions to be done uh, in the level. So send email, send SMS, print letter, send a letter, manual action. So when you click on this manual action, you can see a new tab to add a manual action. Uh, so you have seen uh, that action inside the follow-up report. That is check payment is done. And you can add that action type here. So I have already added a call then we can assign a responsible person. And if you choose this auto execute, then we can't find that option. That is in order to print letter or manual action. This is because it's auto execute. Okay. Then we can join open invoices. Then when you click this, then here you can see the message template in SMS message template then how to customize your message okay. then you can save this again you can create uh, if, if uh, again if an invoice is created for the customer suppose i'm creating again an invoice for this customer
and if you go to the custom you can see total view it total view is changed okay and here you can see uh, both the invoices with the uh, date of invoice and due date and again you can send by email And here you can click done. And suppose the customer have made the payment. So I'm closing all the payments, so the customer closes all his payments. And when you go to the contact, you can see there are no no dues. That is, that is all the payment uh, done by the customer. And if you come under follow up reports, here you can see for this customer, there is no total due or total overdue and you can see the follow-up status as no action needed. Then in order 14, we have a new feature that is we can automatically schedule activities in invoices when the due date is reached. That is first we have to configure inside our journal. Here we have a tax list. Here we have invoices. Uh, so here under advanced settings, inside a journal configuration you can find an option that is follow customer payments so here we can schedule an activity and when you add an activity you can assign uh, activity user to a user and activity summary can be added so after adding this uh, on the due date that is when you're creating an invoice on the due date automatically an activity will be scheduled that is activity configured inside the journal will be scheduled automatically. So we have done a detailed video on this uh, auto activity scheduling in payment follow-up. So you can check that uh, video to know more about it. So that's all about uh, follow-up reports and how we made use of these reports to send reminders to customer regarding the overdue. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cyprocess.com.